Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking nature scene effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to have here is we need to generate our background image. So I'm just using Adobe Firefly here and you can see the prompt that I've started off with was a grass field with some small trees in the distance along a horizon line and a dark and kind of moody vibe. And I also set it into the fantasy kind of category, I guess. And so this is kind of what it gave me. Now, this image is good because again, I want to cut out the sky to make the clouds move. And I've got some grass here that I'm going to kind of animate as well. So once you're happy with that, we can take that into After Effects. So here we are in After Effects. And what we are going to do is we're going to create a new composition. And I'm just going to go with the 1920 by 1080 pixel document, 30 FPS at a duration of about 10 to 15 seconds. Just press OK. Once you have that, then we can import our file into our timeline. Cool. So now I have my file here, but it's just a bit too big. So I'm just going to press S for scale and and I'm just gonna kind of make sure that it fits just like that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to now animate the sky. So in order to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and make sure that I've selected the layer. I'm just gonna grab the pen tool and I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and I'm just gonna draw a rough mask just underneath the clouds just like that. So now I have that ready to go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press F for feather and I'm going to increase that feather to probably around about 50. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that. And on that duplication of the layer, I'm just going to delete the mask. So I have the mask still set on this uh, layer over here. So this is going to be my background and uh, this is going to be my sky. So now what we need to do is we need to animate the sky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the effect called corner pin and I'm going to turn on the stopwatch for both upper left and upper right. In the upper left, I'm going to change this value to negative 200. And I'm going to move all the way to the end of that composition. I'm going to reset that and then I'm going to add 200 to the X value on the upper right. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you will have the sky moving like that. And that looks pretty cool. And if you need to go into the feather and adjust it any more or any less, you can. But I'm pretty happy with that and you don't really see too much of the stuff down there. So that looks pretty cool. So now the next thing that we need to do is we need to now animate the grass. So I'm going to now do this individually and I'll show you how to actually do that. So I'm just going to create a duplicate uh, of the background layer and I'm going to call it grass. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the pen tool and I'm going to draw a rough mask that goes around this section of the grass just like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press F for feather I'm going to increase that to about 150 and that just kind of softens that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the effect called turbulent displace you can already see what's happening here. The grass is now going a little bit wavy. I'm going to change some of these values. So the amount I'm going to change to, let's say about 15. The size, probably about 20. So you don't want it to go too much. And then the complexity, let's bring that up to about four. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold option, click on that stopwatch and write time times. Let's say for this one, we'll do it 500. Okay. And now you can see that the grass is kind of wobbling as well. And that looks pretty cool. Now, if you have to go back in and uh, change the mask. So for example, if you want to just move some of these points around, you can, and then you can get it to however you like. So I think that looks pretty cool. And I think I'll leave it at that. So now we'll work on the next section of the grass. 
So we can do this in a few ways. You can even make another duplicate of that layer or you can work on it in the same layer. For example, if you just created another mask there, that would also work. So I think I'll just do that to save time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to follow this kind of area over here. Then I'll probably go down to about there and then I'll join that back up. And already, if you've got that, you can see that the grass is moving. Now they're both moving at the same speed. So if you want this one to move at a slower speed, you can always put it on a different layer. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just gonna adjust the mask slightly. So maybe I'll put that over there and I'll just bring this back over here. And there we go. And that looks pretty cool. And now what we are going to do is we are going to animate the trees in the distance. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate that background layer again. And this time I'm just gonna move it up and I'm gonna call it trees. And I'm gonna repeat that process again. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm on that layer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to draw a rough mask on the area of the tree that's moving that I want to move. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to add the effect called Turbulent Displace. And I'll use pretty much some of the same settings. Um, I'll increase the complexity, but the only thing that I will change is the evolution options. So I'm gonna hold option, hit evolution, and then go time times, let's say 400. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you will have the tree moving at that level. So all I'm gonna do is just move this around and I'm also going to increase the feather to let's say about 50. And now if I preview that, now you can see that there is some movement in that tree, just like that. And I think that looks pretty cool. So now all I need to do is just, you know, uh, do some outlines on these trees and maybe this area over here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna animate the final set of trees, like all of this area over here, but I want it to go slower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate those trees and then I'm just going to delete all the masks that are originally there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the pen tool and I'm just going to draw a, again, rough mask over all of this stuff. So I'll put a, maybe something like that. All right, and then I'm gonna increase the feather to let's say 50, but this time I'm gonna press EE, and now instead of it being times 400, I'm gonna make it times 200. So now if we preview that, you can see that these trees are now moving at a slower rate than these two trees as well. So now that looks pretty cool. Now, the other thing that I added in here was some birds. So I just downloaded some stock footage uh, clip of birds and the link will be in the description. And so now I've added my birds in there and this is on a green screen. So what I can do is I can search for the effect called key light and just hit that eyedropper tool and click on the green. And now you've got some birds swirling around. Now, obviously, it's too big so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it over there in the distance maybe something like that so now we've got the birds in that kind of area over there cool so now we have the birds in the scene so that's looking pretty cool so the last thing that I did here was I just pre-composed all of this so if I went up to layer pre-compose I'll just call it scene make sure you move all the attributes I added a scale in effect so all I did is I pressed s for scale hit that stopwatch move to the end of the composition and then just go to let's say 110 and now that will kind of zoom in so that looks pretty cool the other thing that I did was I added an adjustment layer and inside the adjustment layer I added some lumetri color and then I went down to creative and I chose our SL gold rush and you can play around with the intensity of this so maybe I'll bring it to about 48 and you can see the difference that it has and the final thing that I added here was another adjustment layer just with some noise so I probably had probably about six percent 
uh, noise. And now we've got that kind of cinematic kind of look. So yeah, so that's about it for this short tutorial. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something and I'll see you guys in the next video.